Cookie. <laughs> Hello everyone. We are here sitting on the couch because Zoe is sick. She's got a nasty cold, eh Alexi? Yeah. Yeah. We've been spending a lot of time just hanging out on the couch watching TV the last couple days because Zoe's had a fever and she's been sick. So while well, we've watched a lot of Peppa and Incredibles and oh, all those fun cartoons, we've also watch some educational shows because there's a lot you can learn on Netflix. So today we're going over some of our favorite educational TV shows that are great for really little kids and toddlers and preschoolers and kindergartners. Our first one that we like to start with, the Planet Earth series. This is a BBC show. It is all about animals all over the world and what I really like about it is they kind of pick like a habitat. So maybe one episode they talk about mountains and they'll talk about animals that live in um, mountains all over the world. So you're not just seeing the same the same animals all the time. It's not just animals from Africa, it's animals all over the world in every episode. They have a planet Earth and then they have planet Earth 2. Um, different animals shot all, again 10 years later. So you get a lot of bang for your buck with those shows because you see a lot of different animals. Um, another one that we really like from the BBC Sorry, where are you going? <laughs> Another show that we like that is also from the BBC is The Blue Planet. Same kind of idea as Planet Earth, but it is all about ocean animals and animals that live underwater. So that is a great show, um, especially if you're doing anything under the sea or oceans, um, fish, sharks, whales. It does the same uh, style as Planet Earth. So it does by area, so it might do open ocean or coral reef. You get to see fish and animals from all over the world in every episode, which is kind of nice. Another favorite show of ours is we love Disney nature movies. Um, right now they have two up in Canada. They have Born in China, which is about uh, mostly snow leopards and pandas. And they have Growing Up Wild, which is about baby animals growing up and their process from birth to um, becoming adults. We love the Disney nature movies because they're made very kid friendly. Um, so they often have like a storyline instead of just being like, here is a leopard walking through the mountains. It has like a story. So they kind of build a storyline into it. So it's a little more accessible, a little more entertaining for, for the little ones. Oh, monkeys walking. Yeah, so that's what we're watching right now. We have a Growing Up Wild on, on the TV right now. Magic School Bus, the original. Uh, this, that was that came out when I was like four or five years old. It is an oldie, but it is a goodie. We love Magic School Bus. And having watched the whole series recently, the science is still like awesome. Um, the only episode that is kind of dated is it's the very last one because it's talking about computers and computers have changed a lot in the last 20 something years. So like in the episode they're talking about floppy disks, which these kids don't even know what a floppy disk is. But otherwise the science is still really sound and it's just a super accessible TV show for little kids. They love it, it's funny, it's engaging. The next one I want to talk about is one that I was a little bit nervous about. It was it is called Magic School Bus Rides Again. This is the Netflix reboot of the Magic School Bus. And I'm gonna be honest, I was really nervous because it's a reboot and I just wasn't sure if they were gonna be able to make it as good as the original Magic School Bus. Having watched the whole season with these two, I can happily say it is just as good. Miss Frizzle has gone off to get her PhD and so she's off traveling the world and has been replaced by her niece, Miss Frizzle, and, and Ms. Frizzle is off getting her PhD. Um, so she's kind of taking the producer spot, so she's at the end of every episode, so you still get the good old Miss Frizzle, but you have the Miss Frizzle now, and she takes the kids on crazy adventures, just like her aunt, and then you find her, she kind of is a little bit kookier, almost, but in a good way. And it works out, it's a great I show. So. No. So much. Yeah, it's a great show and we love it. On the same note, another show that we really like, um, the 72 Animal series. So they have a couple of these on Netflix. Um, the one that we like to watch is the 72 Cutest Animals. 
and so it'll kind of count down. They have like a ranking system of the 72 cutest animals in the world. It's fun, it's short, it kind of it changes quickly, which is great when you have really little kids whose uh, attention spans are short, but they give you little facts about the animals and, and it works out, eh, Lexi? Yeah. Now, they do have other ones. They have like 72 dangerous, most dangerous animals in Australia, uh, 72 most dangerous animals in North America, things like that, so they have a couple of them. Um, I will say though with the dangerous ones, if you have really little kids, sometimes they have like a shark bite and you'll have a person who has some, some scars or injuries as a result of having been attacked by these animals. Um, so just keeping that in mind if you have really young kids, if that bugs them. Otherwise, 72 cutest animals doesn't have any of that, so it's a great option for little kids. Elephants. Elephants. But one of Alexi's favorite shows right now is Storybots. Story Ask the Storybots is they have two Storybots ones. Storybots is a new Netflix original. Um, so they have Ask the Storybots, which is like episodes. Um, so they have a story, and what happens is in every episode, they have a video of a real kid who comes on and asks a question. And it's anything from like, how do ears hear? Why can't I eat candy all day? Um, how many animals are there? And so basically it's these kids who are asking kind of like a computer or like Google. And the little people inside the computer who don't know the answer have to go and figure it out. And so there's these five little story bot robots that have to go out into the outer world, which is our world, and figure out the answer. And they're silly and they're funny. Um, it has a nice blend. They kind of blend in like human characters, like real live people in with the animation. Um, and they have lots of celebrities that come on there. So like Snoop Dogg talks about computers. I think Whoopi Goldberg's on there. Um, so they have different celebrities who come in and you know are various characters in, in episodes. And it makes it a lot of fun to, to watch and they're actually super educational too. Storybots is really fun because they have just enough randomness to be like quirky and they also have a lot of music and musical numbers all original to the show which is just makes any show so much more fun. Um, there's also another Storybots. It's not quite as long, there's not as many episodes, but it's Storybot songs and super songs. Storybot super songs and so it's basically they pick a theme and all the song, the whole show is just basically songs on that theme. So like they'll talk about emotions and it's just songs about emotions for the whole episode. The episodes are very short. But it's really fun. You like the songs? Yeah, but the mummy. Hey, the horses. Hey, oats. Hey, oats. That sounds like hey, ho. So those are some of our favorite TV shows that we watch when we're not feeling good, hey Lexi? Yeah. Um, that are educational, we can learn a lot, and we hope you guys well, check them out. Yes, me in the comments with your educational show. Yeah, so you can leave us a message and let us know in the comments what's your favorite educational show, because we're always looking for more to add to our repertoire. Bye! Bye bye! <laughs> <laughs> if you like what you saw, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to get notifications when we upload our latest videos. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to leave us a comment. We'll see you next week for more activities, adventures, and lifelong learning. Bye! Bye.